Hello everybody on YouTube, this is the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles Rated R Comedy Star, today's Shock Jock. I have some very sad news to report that Jeff Labar, the guitar player from Cinderella, passed away uh, yesterday at age 58, and um, there's no, uh, at this moment, uh, cause uh, for his uh, untimely departure. Uh, we needed guys like Jeff. Um, although, from what I read, uh, Cinderella hasn't performed since uh, 1994 as far as uh, official album and making albums. But they, uh, they, they did play around and do some gigs on some cruise ships or, I don't know, that kind of gigging. Just like... Uh, Kind of reminds me of the band Quiet Riot that performed at a nudist colony. Because everybody, uh, in you know, the, the scene just turned around. Uh, they say Nirvana is to blame. I don't know. Maybe you guys might know. By the way, if you, um, if you like this video and want to get in touch with me... Um, through my email, I am Radio Man Joe twenty eight at yahoo dot com. That's Radio Man Joe one word Radio Man Joe twenty eight. That's twenty eight at yahoo dot com. Um, I just made the announcement on my other social media page, uh, uh, TikTok. Uh. This is, this is a, a very sad day in rock and roll. There have been, over the years, there has been many high-profile deaths in rock and roll. We've lost some amazing, great players. And unfortunately, with rock and roll, there are people... that um, do heroin, heavy drinking, drugs of all kinds, cocaine, whatever. I have been doing these videos now for a while. I took about a year off the Crazy Joe Show to reevaluate how I was going to get the Crazy Joe Show promoted so you people can see what a great show I have and how I promote myself well I am the crazy Joe show but can I be so bold to say that we're taking over for Howard Stern he's uh He's no more. He's not the kind of guy that he once was, even though he's funny and entertaining. I hope to overtake his title, not to be the king of all media, but to be what he used to be, and plus what I've always been, which is an outspoken rebel and true rock and roller. But I'll get into that another time because this is about mourning this man's loss. When I found out the news, I was totally shocked. That's an understatement. Um, the Crazy Joe Show will be paying a special tribute when we get back on the air, right now, as I said before, we've been off the air for about a year. And um, we're going to make a comeback soon. And... Uh, 
you know, we're gonna like um We're gonna get it together, man. We're gonna be on Twitter where the where the Crazy Joe show on Twitter, so it's at the Crazy Joe Show. Or it could be Crazy Joe Show at the Crazy Joe Show. Did I say that right? At the Crazy Joe. Just go to Twitter. I'm sorry. I'm not with it tonight, but it's. I'm sure you'll find it at the Crazy Joe Show at Twitter. We do a live video there and we play the show live. I'll let everybody here know when. And then we're working on our website. I'm not working on it. Somebody else is working on it that has the skills. And that's the crazyjoeshow.com. If you go there, there's gonna it's a good looking website, but it's got a lot of content that's a little bit outdated. That's why we're, and we have to do a lot of updates and uh, all kinds of stuff on there, so. Um, I loved Cinderella. I loved the way Jeff looked when he was playing guitar. He had that long, he actually reminded me of a friend I used to play with on Long Island. Very similar looking people. I think uh, this guy named Vance and this, uh, of course, Jeff and um, Jimmy Page all had that long black hair that I love so much. They were definitely uh, cool looking dudes, man. Rock gods. And there's a lot of them out there from Richie Blackmore to Tony Iommi and Eric Clapton. All these great, great heroes of the guitar. We don't have that today. But I promise you this, not only are we going to do a great tribute to Jeff LeBar when we get back on the Crazy Joe show, <clears throat> but um, we're probably going to do um, the tribute first, and then we're going to do the Crazy Joe show. And uh, we have lost so many... Great, fantastic players over the years from the singer of Stone Temple Pilots and Velvet Revolver to the singer from Alice in Chains. Jeff, I mean, uh, not Jeff, uh, Joe Cocker. Eddie Van Halen was a big shock. And I'm afraid people that this puts us in a horrible position we have this rap crap bullshit and and weak an attempt of rock and roll music by these white people that suck at their that can't play an instrument and they have no fucking business being out there making records and for me to say that about rap crap is an understatement the whole scene today is bullshit. And that's why I need your support. I need your support more than ever because I'm sure there's a lot of rockers out there that love the great music. I'm not even going to list the bands, but the great music of the 70s, the 60s, uh, the 80s was pretty cool, although it, that's when it started to change. And... Of course, the 90s, you know, with the Seattle scene. And some really cool bands out of the 2000s. We will keep the eternal flame going for eternity. For as long as I'm alive or I'm able to perform the Crazy Joe Show, I promise everyone that I will keep the eternal fire going. For rock and roll music. I also have a group that I'm trying to form called Joe's Rock and Roll Army. Again, you can reach me at my email, Radio Radio <laughs> Radio Man. Sorry, people. Radio Man Joe28 at Yahoo.com. Again, Radio Man Joe28 at Yahoo.com. I am looking for people to join Joe's 
Rock and Roll Army, where we're going to do some protesting, get a rally going in Times Square, protest in front of MTV Studios and Sony Records, demanding that our rock and roll come back. And right now, because of these recent deaths, big, big names, Jeff Labar, Cinderella, and Eddie Van Halen of Van Halen, it is imperative that we get together as rock and rollers, join Joe's Rock and Roll Army. It's going to be a good time. And we're going to hold rallies and we're going to eventually have concerts and get togethers. And we're going to, um, we're going to be heard because we don't have a voice. Between the yuppies and the puppies and the hipsters and the dipsters and all these fucking douchebags and the and the fetimists and the uh, the lesos and um, the chocolatos and uh, and all these bad people because I I find them bad the majority not all of them because that would be ignorant to say but the majority of them the ones that you see on TV like Ashley Judd. Complaining about fucking tampons, that fucking bitch who needs a big fucking cock up her ass from uh, whatever. The new millennials. Oh, this is a new millennial who doesn't want to do work in his in his in his parents' uh, garage. Junior, I should say Josh. Josh, can you please clean out the garage? Oh, man, I don't want to do that. I want to watch video games. <laughs> Why don't we get the guy that cut our lawn the other day? Yeah, I think his name was Hector Hernandez. People, our beloved rock and roll is under attack, and it is dead. I declare it officially dead, but not done. With your help and your participation... We can bring rock and roll back and all the great rockers that we have lost. I mean big fucking names. Their memory will not be in vain. They will be looking at us from heaven and they will be smiling down at Joe's Rock and Roll Army and you, the members of Joe's Rock and Roll Army. And we will march to victory. And we will bring back our beloved rock and roll if it's the last thing that the Crazy Joe Show has to do and needs to do. And I am ready to defend our honor. I'm just not going to talk here. If anybody dares attack me or attack me in any type of fucking way, whether it's physical or verbal or whatever, I will be on the ready. I will be on the guard. And trust me, it's not that I'm a big bad motherfucker because, you know, I'm a short guy. But you know us fucking short guys. We could be pretty fucking vicious. But I'm more vicious with my mouth than anything else. And I'm not here to challenge anyone. But nobody better fucking challenge me. Because I know that bringing back rock and roll music and forming this Joe's Rock and Roll Army is not going to be very popular. But it's going to be successful because we're going to make it successful. I'm asking you guys to to do a team here for me. Let's have a team. Joe's Rock and Roll Army cannot succeed without your help and your participation. Let's do it for Jeff Labar. Let's do it for Eddie Van Halen. Let's do it for Joe Cocker. Let's do it for the singer, for, I, I forgot his name, Lane Stanley from, from Alice in Chains. Let's do it for, uh, for the singer from uh, Velvet Revolver. And Stone Temple Pilots. I'm sorry. I don't have his name in front of me. I know that's not professional. But who gives a flying fuck. Because you know exactly who I'm talking about. Okay. So I need your support. And in closing. Uh, I just want to say. Peace. And love. And happiness. Which is something that the New World Order. And these fucking suit. Cocksucker motherfuckers. Don't want you to have. They want you to be fucking miserable. They don't want you going outside to play, to be with your friends, to take some fresh air. No, they want to keep you as a fucking zombie, robotic fucking prisoner on this fucking phone. Okay? So I am going to take advantage of that and I'm going to tell everyone out here, okay, that it's time for life to breathe fresh air 
and to say no to the new world order, to say no to these fucking suits that are trying to control. Because rock and roll music just didn't disappear by coincidence. It was done on purpose by the suits. The suits are in control of the music business. We know who the suits are. You may not know who the suits are. But I got a good feeling that I know who the fucking suits are. And these are the same people that made our music fantastic for six and a half fucking decades. And now all of a sudden they fucking decide that they're going to do away with rock and roll music. Again, peace and love and happiness as always. I wish upon everybody. Get into the message of John Lennon. Okay, give peace a chance. Because rock and roll is the music of peace and love. And there's been a lot of fuck-ups, unfortunately, with these people, man, that we love so much and, and die because of their mistakes they made or uh, their addiction was so strong, okay? And addiction is the devil's work. It is. It is Satan's work, okay? And what we need to do is we need to pray to the Almighty and ask for His help and um, guidance that we pray that a lot of these... Musicians will not die the way Jeff did and all these other great musicians because of drugs, heroin, and alcohol. Sorry for the long video, but I hope it was interesting. I hope it was great. And I'm not the type of guy to make a video just because peop these fucking you millennial cocksuckers with their fucking retarded brains, they have, no f they have like zero attention span. A cockroach has more attention span than some of these fucking yuppie puppy hipster dipster new millennial cocksuckers. And as always, the pursuit of real rock and roll music. Jeff and Eddie and all the great rock and rollers, God bless you all. We'll never forget you. You will live in infamy as the greatest musicians of all time in our beloved rock and roll music. And we all hope that one day when we get to heaven, we will all meet in a huge green field as they say, in greener pastures, and we all will have a great time just shooting the shit about life, music, rock and roll, and anything else we're going to talk about. I hope you people wish that if you had people that have passed on in your life, don't you wish you could see them again? I think we will.